Hey guys, welcome to Superlative Radio. Dylan Stone here with you. Hope you enjoy the following vlog. Hey guys, welcome to another vlog here on Superlative Radio. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, your pets. Um, so as you guys have probably been aware from watching us multiple times here, of course we have the dogs on radio in here because Dylan has, you know, Ike and he has Pongo. Um, of course, I have Sophie, and uh, I now have another little dog called Harley. And um, I just, I've talked about pets before, like, because I had a, a vlog last year that I talked about, you know, Sophie and having her birthday and, and, and stuff like that. I'm one of those people that the majority of my life, I have had a dog. And I don't know about the rest of you. And I know some people out there are cat people. And you know, it's okay, you're not perfect. Eventually you'll realize that dogs are better. But um, <laughs> those of you out there that are dog people, that's um, me. yeah, it's, that's, Dylan's like, that's me, yeah. <laughs> when you have a pet, and it doesn't matter what your pet might be. Um, I, I, I work with a girl uh, and she had a pet goat. You know, she had hor another girl had horses. Like everybody has different pets and they're- had two There you go. Uh, Dylan said uh, his significant other, Denise, she had two iguanas, so. Um, pets bring so much to your life. And I don't think people truly understand when they don't have them, why others do. What I kind of want to express to you guys is when you have a pet, there is a certain level of calmness and joy that a pet brings you. Especially, now, I mean, I know there are people that'll argue this about cats, but the moment you drop dead, a cat will eat your face. Dogs are loyal pretty much, like a dog would have to be utterly starving before it would turn on its owner and eat it. Cats, not so much. Dogs have to literally be practically starved to death before they will turn and eat their owner. Um, that's been proven, scientifically. You can, you can look it up, you can Google it, it's, the, it's a fact. You know, within 24 hours, a cat will start eating you. But you know, that's just how it is. A dog, a dog would rather practically starve to death than eat you. People who have pets, and it, regardless of what pet it is, people who have pets, you live longer. You generally have less things like um, heart disease or uh, heart attacks. And, you know, just there's so much when you think about it that come from having a pet that people don't realize like i'm not sure if a lot of you out there understand that if you have a pet say you have a dog or a cat because those are the two most common pets you got one of the other if you're sitting there and you're petting your pet it actually calms your heart rate it calms your heart rate it, it 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 eases stress and part of what that animal is actually doing and and it's i know some people may not believe this but what that animal is actually doing is that animal is, when you're petting that animal and you're stressed out, you're at a bad day, that animal is actually taking on that stress from you. When you're petting it and you're going, oh God, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you for being my buddy or thank you for being my friend or whatever. That animal is taking that stress on itself. It's a reason why their little lives are so short compared to ours. It's part of the reason is because they're, they're d if there is God, and if you believe in God, God put those animals here to assist us, to be something for us, to help us. There is nothing in this world that will love you more than a dog. Nothing. A cat won't, a horse won't, a pig won't. It doesn't matter what animal or what pet you might have. The only thing that loves you utterly more than itself is a dog. There's a reason why we have been companions with dogs. There's a reason why they're called man's best friend. We have been companions with dogs for like 100,000 years. We have been breeding them to do what we want them to do. It's a reason why we have all these different breeds, why we have retrievers, why we have hunters, why we have this, why we have that, why we have guard dogs, why we have... If you look at all the different breeds of dogs, they're bred. They were bred and created. They all descend from the same dog the same wild dog that was basically like a wolf that humans eventually then turned to breeding into different. We have been genetically manipulating the DNA of dogs for th 
thousands upon thousands of years. And we've done it to make them better companions to us. So when you see someone who's got a dog and a particular breed of dog, that dog has been bred for something. That dog is bred for purpose. And that dog will often exhibit a lot of traits to what it's been bred for. But you will never find a more loyal or loving companion than a pet, especially if it's a dog. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. I'll catch you guys for another vlog right here on Superlative Radio. Hey guys, thanks for watching Superlative Radio. Come back anytime. And when you do, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a comment. We really want to know what you think. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, because that's the way it's supposed to be.